hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm here with another curly hair video you guys requested it i did a poll on my instagram if you aren't following me on instagram you should i did a poll on my instagram story asking you guys whether you want to see my next curly hair video using diva curl or creme of nature i'm still going to do the creme of nature but i just want to see what you want to see first i am surprised by these products from diva curl this is like their little kit that they have at ulta you can also purchase it on their website or i'm pretty sure you can get them on groupon as well so that's the pretty cool thing about that and i bought these because i never tried actual diva curl products and i was really really surprised at the fact that it made my curls look this defined and luscious and just very defined i love it and my hair is usually like on the frizzy side so you will be seeing some frizz but i don't mind it some people you know they're afraid of frizz i'm not i don't really care to be quite honest with you like i don't want it to be super super frizzy but i still want my curls to peek through in my hair so that's what i did it did come with this little pamphlet inside the box and i just want to tell you guys it was 30 dollars for that kit alone just the products from diva curl are pretty pricey but you get great results with this product and I noticed that I did follow the actual Diva Curl pamphlet and it tells you all of the stuff for like the beginners and everything like that. It tells you step one, two, three, and four on using the products. And for me, it is a helpful thing to read over this because I, like I said, never tried Diva Curl. I only had like their micellar water, which is like their cleanser. You could also get it on Amazon. I got the Build Up Buster. This is their Micellar Water Cleansing Serum. And I use this only once or twice a month when I have extreme buildup. And this is more of a treatment. So this is pretty good. And it does remove a lot of the buildup, especially on my scalp, because I notice I tend to get more buildup there than on my actual hair. Like, I get buildup, don't get me wrong, but I get more buildup and I can feel it when I'm scratching my head. And it's not a good it's not good i did go in with this in the shower which you will see in the demo and then i go in with the actual no pool original and the one condition original and i did purchase the uh no pool the other one the decadence which i'll do a different video on to see how what's the difference because i did ask the lady at ulta and she told me that basically the decadence is more moisturizing and this one i didn't see any lather which i would prefer lather i don't know it's in my head that if i see the lather it's actually cleaning my hair so when i did go in with this i was pretty like uh is it working i had to go in with more so I mean, everything's like a, a trial and error, so I'm still new to this. I'm still going to try these out, like, you know, until I'm done with it and see what I really think of it. I did like the One Condition Original. This is their daily cream conditioner. When I was detangling my hair, it did detangle it very well, and it didn't leave my hair dry. It was like a good slip. And then for the styling products, this is what I was like... A little bit confused about because I noticed that my hair was looking a little white like from the actual products but I heard I seen like a uh, high Felicia she was doing her hair product like she was actually trying them out in her video and she was showing it and she was saying like if you don't see when you scrunch your hair and then the product is actually dripping from your hands like if you don't see that that means your hair wasn't wet enough so when i was doing it i was like okay good <laughs> because i was like kind of scared like am i doing this right is it supposed to look like this but let me know in the comments down below if you tried diva curl or you want to try diva curl it's funny because i was gonna get my hair done at diva curl salon in new york city but it's a bit pricey and i just realized when i googled it like there is a salon where i'm from like literally 20 minutes away and they actually focus on diva curl products and styling and the whole haircut so i am gonna get a haircut pretty soon probably by the end of the year i just want to see how my hair is gonna turn out now and i'm still on my curly hair journey if you don't know 
it's about to be almost it's about to be eight months i just had a count um it's crazy like i have not put on heat like style my hair straight in eight months that's crazy all right before we get into the demo i want to let you guys know i didn't wash my hair for a week and a half almost two weeks i know that's nasty but i was in new york and I didn't have my products with me. I was actually buying some products as I was there. But I just wanted to see how my hair was going to do in New York. Because like I noticed the weather was different over there than over here. And also I wanted to try this product out with this actual build up buster from Diva Curl. Alright, let's jump right into it. Alright, so I'm going to rinse my hair in just regular warm water i'm gonna start off with this diva curl build up buster and it's basically a treatment for deep cleaning your hair basically so i'm going to deep clean my hair because it's that time so i like to do this once a month or twice a month and then i'm gonna go in with the diva curl no poo original and the reason why is because i do want to cleanse my hair even though the build up buster does that for you i still want to really get in there so I go in with it once and then I'm going to rinse all that out of my hair. Now I'm going to go in with this One Condition Original and this is like a daily cream conditioner. And I'm going to detangle my hair after I apply all that onto my hair. And I'm going to focus on the roots more because it's been a week and a half since I haven't washed my hair. So I'm going to detangle. Now with the Diva Curl towel, I really like this towel. Like I was using like one of those other towels from like walmart that you could wrap around your hair but i like this so i'm going to do my baby hairs so this is like not a diva curl product but you know i am going to pick up one of their actual uh styling pomades so i'm going to do my baby hairs the reason why i like to do this first is because i don't want to mess up my curls once i'm done styling my hair and then do the baby hairs so I'm going to wrap up the top of my head because that's the most that I need product on. So I'm going to move on to the light defining gel. This is like a light no hold crunch styler. And now that I'm thinking about it, like I should have just did it the other way around. So apply the cream then the gel. But on the paper that I showed you guys, it, it didn't say like step three or four. It just says step three. I'm going to distribute that product all over my hair and then I'm going to go in with the styling cream and I'm going to do the same thing. So I want to apply as much product. I noticed that it's been getting cold over here so I have to do more of the actual cream so that my hair can stay hydrated. So I'm going to distribute that all over the hair and I noticed that there was like a white casting so that's not a problem because it does go away. I'm going to take the denim brush and distribute all that and brush out my hair because I noticed that my hair wasn't as combed out when I was in the shower. So the detangling brush, it did an okay job, but I still need to brush out any knots or anything like that. So I'm going to do the top part of my head and then I'm going to section them when I'm combing out with the denim brush. Well, you guys know this is not the actual denim brush, but it's like a dupe for it, so don't get confused. Like, oh, it's purple, it's not red, but it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Um, I still call it a denim brush. So with the crown, as you saw, I had to brush it out separately because that's the most driest part of my hair. So now I'm going to continue brushing out my hair with the products all left in my hair, and then I'm gonna scrunch it. I saw all of that like the white products coming out as I was scrunching so that means that my hair was pretty good and actual damp. For 20 minutes I'm going to let my hair dry and then I'm going to diffuse my hair so I'm using this new actual headpiece to the uh, to the blow dryer it's like a diffusing attachment and I got this on Amazon so I'll link it down below but it works pretty well because it made my hair drier and it did blow out a lot of the air into my hair pretty faster than the, my first one so I'm gonna diffuse my hair and making sure that my hair is completely dry so this is how I diffuse my hair um, everybody does it differently especially with 
the actual head attachment for the diffuser there's people that use diva curl i don't have that one yet i want to purchase it so i'm just like slowly building my diva curl collection I'm gonna section off whatever curls that are big and chunky and then after that I'm gonna apply a little bit of oil I didn't show it on here but I did apply oil to separate the curls and this is my finished look guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you have tried diva curl or you want to and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one